So what is the best way to find motivated sellers when you're wholesaling real estate? That's the question I'm going to help you guys answer in this video here. My name is Rodney Samuels. Welcome to this video. Welcome to my channel. On my channel, I have a lot of videos about entrepreneurship, a lot of videos about wholesaling real estate. So this video, I have a piece of technology, a software called PropStream that I'm going to tell you guys about that'll help you find motivated sellers easily. It's going to help you target the right one so that you're not wasting um, a lot of money and effort going after people, going after homeowners that are not motivated. This is just my way, my way of um, my personal favorite way. One of my favorite ways of narrowing down the, um, the motivations for these homeowners, which helps me narrow in and focus in on the right type of homeowners. All right. So I'm going to be using prop stream to show you how it's done. And some of my favorite parameters are going after people with um, who have tried to sell their property already. They listed it with a real estate agent and it did not sell. So those expired listings, okay, expired listings on vacant properties, which is number two, the second criteria, vacant property, because look, if the house is sitting there and it's not making them any money or it's not putting a, a roof over somebody's head, it's really no good. All right. So expired property because they raised their hand and said they wanted to sell it already. It's vacant. Nobody's living in it. And number three is equity. I want them to have equity in the property so that they have the opportunity to give me some sort of a discount on the property. I don't want them to have a high mortgage balance um, compared to what the house is worth when I'm doing a traditional wholesale deal. So I'm going to use PropStream to show you how to narrow down with those three parameters to help you guys save money and save time. This is good, especially for you new guys who are just trying to get into the business, who don't have a lot of money. The software does cost money, but if you use it properly, it can help you out tremendously in this business on both ends, buying and selling. All right. So also there's going to be a link in the description and in the comment section where you can get a free trial to the software. So what I'm going to do right now is jump into onto my computer screen and I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm logged into PropStream. And like I said, I'm going to show you one of my favorite combinations for finding um, motivated sellers. The way I like to stack my, um, my motivations. That's what I'm going to show you here. I'm using expired listings on vacant properties and properties that are vacant. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here. I'm going to go up into the search bar and I'm going to use 19134, the zip in Philly. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to stack these motivations. You're going to go right here to filter. Okay. I'm going to go into filter. And first thing I'm going to do with owner occupied, I'm going to leave that the way it is. Okay, I'm going to go down to occupancy status. I want to mark that vacant. Okay. Then what I want to do is I want to go to property characteristics. I want to make sure that I'm pulling properties that are single family residences. So I can do that either by putting in the number of bedrooms. I can do like a three to four bedrooms right here. Or what I like to do is I like to do um, go by building square feet. So I go to building square feet. And I'll do something, I'll put something like 2,500, okay? And over here on the right, all my stacking, all my criteria shows up here. So far I have vacant and I have 2,500 feet or less in square footage, okay? Now, for the expired part, we already went vacant. Now we're gonna go to expired. We're gonna pull it expired. Hit MLS status, okay? On market. I don't want anything that's on the market right now. Okay, because sometimes properties get listed, they expire, and then they get relisted. I want to make sure that the property I'm looking at is not on the market. All right, so I'm gonna do <clears throat> excuse me, not on the market. And then for MLS status, click on that. We're gonna go fail. Okay. 
that means it did not sell. All right. Now, failed listing date. As far as this goes, I want to make sure that it's properties that, in this particular example, I'm going to do properties that um, expired within the last few months. So um, we'll go up until today. So I'll leave that blank. And it is September 2020, so let's go back a few months. So I'll do May 1st. So any property that expired May 1st, 2020, or after, up until today. That's what I have so far. Okay. Now, as far as the equity part, and the reason why I want to do equity, I want to make sure that these properties, when I contact these people, these homeowners that they have the opportunity to give me a discount on the property by having equity in the property. I don't want to talk to people who have high mortgage balances on it, high mortgages compared to what the property is worth. All right. So I want to make sure that they have some equity in it for this type of wholesale deal. There are other type of wholesale deals that you can do where there are where there's no equity in the property or very little. But for this example, we're going to stick with traditional wholesaling. All right. So we're going to use I want people to have equity, All right? So we're going to hit the valuation and equity tab. And um, here I'm going to do the equity percentage. For this example, I want them to have a minimum of 50% equity. Okay. 50% equity there. All right. So all of the properties pulled up on this side here. Now for this small zip code, I have seven properties that came up, all right? So let's just take a quick look at the properties here. Click on this first one here. And the pictures that you see here are from the MLS listing. These are the pictures that the real estate agent took of the property and put online, okay? So I can click on this. This particular property only has two pictures. It looks like it's more of a commercial mixed use type of deal. All right, so take a look at this one here. This one has eight pictures. I can go ahead and take a look at all the pictures. This is one of the beautiful things about this PropStream uh, software. The MLS listing, you can see the pictures that were up, okay? Um, that's why I love this software. One of the things, and don't forget, you can get your free trial by clicking on the link down in the description. All right, my affiliate link for prop streams in the description. Click on it. You can get a free trial and test it out for yourself. All right, so let's let's look at more information here. You have the property details tab right here. That's what we're on. It gives the owner's name. This one happens to be owned by a bank, which you can filter out in the filter section. All right, the mailing address. Let's click on MLS details. MLS details right here, description. It gives the description of the property. This is what the real estate agent put in the MLS. OK, and you have the whole listing history of the property down here at the bottom. All right. And as you can see, the last entry here or one of the last entries here is this withdrawn. OK, looks like this one was withdrawn on May 7th, but then it went pending on 616. OK, so something happened here with this property where someone decided to buy it and it looks like they gave it away at a big discount. All right. So anyway, we got our list of seven properties here. OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to a list so that I can um, skip trace it. So I'm going to click on all of these. Right. And then I'm going to go add to list and I'm going to create a new list. I'm going to do sample. One, nine, one, three, four. And I'm going to save it. All right. So I saved it to a list. Now I'm going to go over here to the left and click on my properties. That sample 19134, those seven properties came up in this list here. So I'm going to click on it. These are all the properties that pulled up. All right. Now I'm going to skip trace. So I'm going to click this here, which highlights all of the properties. Click on actions. No, excuse me. New campaign. I'm going to do skip tracing. Okay. Now with PropStream, you can skip trace right in the software, okay, which is great. So you can pull phone numbers, you can pull emails, or you can pull phone numbers and emails. And this is very 
cheap. They, this is a very affordable service. All right, so I'm going to do um, phone numbers and emails. Okay. So let's hit next. Thirty cents each. This is only going to cost me. What do you have? Four contacts. Some of the contacts have been um, deleted due to what is it? Has been omitted due to being duplicates. Okay, that's fine. Like I said, this is just an example. Okay. When you do yours, you'll have way more to um, to skip trace, depending on your city or depending on your search. All right, so we're gonna place the order. Hit accept. And it's processing my payment right now. Okay. Click done. Okay, that skip trace is done. It only took a minute. So I'm going to go over here to contacts on the left. And under my skip tracing tab here, that sample 19134 is right there. So I click on that. And look here, all the information is pulled up on these properties. So this property here, we have LLC. This one is an LLC. I normally like to weed out the LLCs when I'm looking for motivated sellers. I want to talk to real, just regular mom and pop homeowners. All right. So, but you can see it pulled the email addresses here and the phone numbers. All right. So you can just take this information, you can call them or you can send the mail, however you wish to contact them. But this software has pretty much everything in it that you can, that you could ever want as far as wholesaling. The only thing it doesn't have, like I said before, is a CRM which where you can just, you know, as you get your leads, you can um, write down notes and let you know where you are in the process with this um, motivated seller or cash buyer or where you are in the deal. Um, so you can keep track. It's the only thing this, this uh, software doesn't have. Other than that, this is the greatest software I've ever, I've ever seen as far as wholesale. And I wish this was around when I first started. So click on the link down below to get your free sample. I mean, your, um, your free trial and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel leave any comments down below or questions that you have and i'll see you guys next time